Good morning, dear students. I am Leda, your science teacher. Welcome back to your science class, chapter 16, Air Around Us, part 2. In this part, we will learn about oxygen cycle, air and weather changes, and uses of air. Please watch all videos carefully and write answers in your fair notebook. If you are having any doubt, please mention it in the comment box with your name, class, section and roll number. I will clear it at the earliest. Our next topic is air in water and soil. You know that living organisms live in water and soil. All of them need oxygen for respiration. How these organisms will respire? Aquatic animals like fishes depend on dissolved oxygen for their respiration. They have special features which enable them to take in dissolved oxygen. Gills in fish and the skin in frogs help to take in the dissolved oxygen. Then how the organisms living under soil respire? The organisms living under soil also need oxygen for respiration. We have studied that air is also present in soil. The organisms which are living under the soil, like roots of a plant, respire by taking oxygen present in the soil. Some living organisms living under soil make deep burrows and holes in the soil through which the air reaches them for respiration. You must have seen that after rain, earthworms are coming out. Why? Because the rainwater fills the burrows made by them. So, they come above the surface of the soil for getting oxygen. Next, our topic is oxygen cycle. You know that the amount of oxygen present in air is 21%. But oxygen is balanced in nature. Why? Because oxygen is removed from the atmosphere by the process of respiration and burning. It is added to the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis. This natural cycle of consumption and release of oxygen is called the oxygen cycle. Actually, plants are taking carbon dioxide for preparing their food. During photosynthesis, they are releasing oxygen. This oxygen is utilized by living beings for their respiration and burning of materials. After burning and respiration, releasing carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide again, plants are taking for preparing food. That's where they are balancing the oxygen level in nature. But some human activities like burning of fossil fuels and large scale cutting down of trees will disturb our oxygen cycle. Next our topic is air and weather changes. The movement of air causes many changes in the atmosphere and weather. When the sun heats up the surface of the earth, the air near the surface becomes hot and rises up and cold air takes its place. This cycle continues and gives rise to the sea breeze and land breeze. Then what is sea breeze? In daytime, cool air blowing from the sea to the land, that is known as sea breeze. Then at night, cool air blowing from the land to the sea, that is known as land breeze. Then what is wind? The moving air is called wind. When the speed of wind increases, what will happen? It causes storms and cyclones. The atmosphere also responsible for maintaining the right temperature on the earth for the survival of all living organisms. You have studied in the carbon dioxide paragraph, carbon dioxide and water vapor do not allow heat to escape from the earth. This is called greenhouse effect. But the increase in carbon dioxide causes an increase in the greenhouse effect and giving rise to global warming. Then what are the harmful effects of global warming? You know that the melting of the polar ice caps and glaciers, increase in the sea level, flood will come, 
the climatic change is also coming then many plants and animals are not able to survive in this situation then increasing the average temperature of the earth then what we have to do we have to control pollution and not allow the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere but the outer layer of atmosphere contains a gas called ozone or one layer is the ozone layer what is its duty this layer prevents the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun from entering the earth's atmosphere nowadays the ozone layer is depleting why because of the cfc chlorofluorocarbon our last topic is uses of air air is essential for all organisms to live but it has many uses in our daily life first use air helps in the flying of aeroplanes parachutes hot air balloons kites etc second air also helps in the movement of water transport like sailboats they also help in the flight of birds and some automobiles and trains have air brakes also air also helps in seed dispersal and pollination you know that light seeds are flying in wind and they are reaching other places from there they are germinating compressed air is also used to fill balloons tires footballs pillows etc air in the form of wind helps in the working of windmills for generating electricity you know that air plays an important role in the water cycle so we can say that air is important for the sustenance of life on earth and we are lucky that our earth is a unique planet due to the presence of air now chapter completed then write down the following questions question number 1 how do animals living in the soil get oxygen question number 2 why do earthworms come out during the rainy season question number 3 state the importance of air for living organisms question number 4 explain how aquatic animals and plants are able to live in water question number 5 briefly explain the oxygen cycle question number 6 list any four uses of air question number 7 what do you understand by the terms sea breeze and land breeze question number 8 name a few transportation modes which run with the help of air question number 9 list two uses of air for plants question number 10 does soil contains air how can you prove that thank you have a nice day